Kipchoge losing, I did not see coming this year. I didn't think this would be the year that the streak ended. He's been perfect in the marathon since 2014. Had that impressive streak and was setting world records and breaking barriers along the way. And then goes to London in what I will say, which everybody would acknowledge was an unorthodox race. It was scheduled on short notice, a loop course. It was supposed to be the battle with Bekele. Bekele, of course, scratched. Kipchoge uh, hung with the lead pack, but faded over the last loop, ran 206.49 to finish eight. So did not see him losing this year just because it was hard to imagine him losing at all and especially did not see him getting eighth and running a a 206 just two numbers next to Kipchoge's name Gordon that we were completely unfamiliar with seeing they look so out of place when you look at the results for the London Marathon this year I I tweeted this after the race uh back in when was it September um I honestly think his eighth place finish October, is the yeah. most is the most badass performance he's ever had. And you know why? Because he chose not to DNF. He chose right, right. to have an eighth place finish on his resume. He could have easily chosen to have a DNF, and then we then it's not a loss. We could he could have kept this record like oh the DNF doesn't count. Whatever he had a, a something with his calf or whatever he could just he could totally get a mulligan and no one would call him out on it. They'd be like, oh yeah, the mm -hmm. best of all time, he, it's, it, didn't, it didn't count. But the fact that he's willing to put an eighth place finish on his resume and mess with his streaks and all this stuff and his GOAT status is all is the ultimate GOAT status because it shows that he cares more about the competition and like competing in it and finishing it than, than about the image of your perfection. And I thought, mm. there's not many people who would do that. 